Hello, this is John, and for those who follow my blog, you'll know that I was recently in Cuba with Tony Sweet leading a group down there. It was a great time. And I also promised in my last blog post that I would show you how I processed the image posted. So, for the image that you see in today's blog post, this is what I did. I used uh, tools. i got to find my cursor here. Where the heck is it? There we go. Uh, I used tools in, in uh, Nix ColorFX Pro 4. So, let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go into Tonal Contrast. And on this particular image, I'm going to accept pretty much straight out of the box. I don't always do that. Oft times I bring these to be about 20, 20, 20, and even bring the saturation down. But I'm, and you know what, I think I will actually bring the saturation down to 10, 15 in this case. Remember, you can change the contrast type by hitting fine or high pass or what have you. And this one, I'm going to leave it at the standard, uh, and that's all I'm going to do. The other value of using ColorFX Pro 4 in this case is I can add a filter. So to do that, I'm in the top right, and so now I'm going to add something beyond tonal contrast. And in this case, I'm going to come over here to Midnight something you don't always see used. And at first, if you click on Midnight, you might have the same reaction I do, which is, my gosh, that's a little over the top. Well, as with most programs, Nick gives us the ability to add control points. And in this case, I'm going to use a negative control point. I'm in the top right grabbing that. And I'm going to use that negative control point on the car because I want to remove that uh, effect from it. And if I hold down my Alt or Option key, I can add that to different places on the car until I've removed just what I want to remove. By way of interest, if you hit the plus control point up here, I can now click on the street and notice how it darkened the street up a little bit again. And so I can bring back that midnight in some of the areas that it was taken away very strategically. So I'm really happy with what I have there. However, I don't want it to be quite that in my face. And so if I go, again, I'm in the top right where it says control points. I'm going to roll open that uh, carrot there. And I can now use the opacity slider to feather that effect. And I think I'm going to bring that back to about 70%. Now at this point, I want to add one more filter. So I'm going to add the plus filter again. So notice up here in the top right I have the tonal contrast I did, I have the midnight filter that I just applied, and now I have the ability to add one more filter. So I'm going to go here to darken, lighten, center. And for this, in the top right, we're going to want to place the center somewhere, so it gives us a, a button. We click on that once. I'm going to place the center right on the car. Now, the choices we have here is to make that either a, a pretty centered square with a little bit of feathering or this big oval feathered. In this case, I really like the square. I'm not a big fan of having all that brightness, so I'm going to bring the brightness down to maybe 10 or so for the center, and that's where that the center point was put. More importantly, we, we want that edge to be darkened so that we're holding your eye within the frame. And then the center size we can adjust too. And I want to make that really a small spotlight on the car and the wall behind it. And I'm pretty happy uh, with that. So let's just kind of look at what we've done pretty quickly. Here's my dark and light and center. I like what that does a lot. It holds your eye right in the frame. And then here's my midnight on and off to give that look and then here's tonal contrast to add a little contrast so we'll turn those all back on again and that's pretty much what we end up with so let's go ahead and hit OK and the final thing that I did on this image was go into Viveza open that up and just gave me a chance to go in and tweak a few things here like this bright area up here bring that down just a touch, add a little bit of contrast in there as well. Again, I'm hitting my Alt or Option key and coming over to this wall that's a little dark. I'm going to make my circle a little smaller too so it's not affecting too much. Smaller circles and vivets are better. Pretty minor things going on here, but let's go over to the car specifically and let's brighten that up just a touch again. I think you'll really make that red kind of sing 
and maybe the front of that up oh, that that got a little bit more than I wanted to so I'm gonna bring my circle a little smaller to make sure that it's not affecting surrounding areas and yeah, that one I don't like as much I'll take that away that's how I do things by the way uh, I just play and then you'll I'm gonna come back to here and darken things down again where it where it affected it more than I wanted it to that's the idea obviously I took a little bit more time on the image that you see posted on the blog but I thought it was an interesting look I'm really a fan and hopefully this will give you some creative uh, thoughts for an image that you might want to apply the same type of technique we'll see you next time